The Association for Information Science and Technology is a non-profit membership organization for information professionals. Previously known as the American Society for Information Science and Technology 2000 to 2013, the organization sponsors an annual conference as well as several serial publications, including the Journal of the Association for Information Science and Technology the organization provides administration and communication support for its various divisions, known as Special Interest Groups or SIGs, provides administration for geographically defined chapters, connects job seekers with potential employers, and provides organizational support for continuing education programs for information professionals. History Watson Davis formed the Documentation Institute in 1935, which changed its name to the American Documentation Institute on 13 March 1937 with the collaboration of Atherton Seidel and others. The organization was first concerned with microfilm and its role as a vehicle for the dissemination of information. Ardy early on worked toward the development of microfilm readers and cameras. Their first microfilm laboratories were located in the U.S. Department of Agriculture Library in Washington, D.C. and the Institute distributed materials through the newly created Bibliofilm Service. Ardy established the Auxiliary Publication Program, which during its 30-year history released nearly 10,000 documents covering a wide range of subjects. The program enabled authors in the fields of physical, natural, social, historical and information sciences to publish and distribute research papers that were either too long, typographically complex or expensive to be published in journals using existing technology. In 1954, the photoduplication service at the Library of Congress took over the operation and became the source point for distributing RD materials and in 2009 this material found its home in the library's Technical Reports and Standards Unit. 1950s was the transition to modern information science. In 1952 the bylaws were amended to allow individuals to become members due to the number of people that were engaged in the development of new principles principles and techniques. The goal was to make ARDI a group that was concerned with all elements and problems of information science not just libraries. During this time there were increased interests and developments of automatic devices for searching, storage and retrieval. In January 1968, ARDI became the American Society for Information Science. The change was made to represent the organization's interest in all aspects of the information transfer process such as, designing, managing and using information systems and technology. In 2000 the organization updated its name, adding technology to embrace the prevalence and increasing centrality of online databases and other technical aspects of the information profession. In 2013 the organization was renamed as the Association for Information Science and Technology to reflect its international membership. Today, the organization comprises professionals from various fields including engineering, linguistics, librarianship, education, chemistry, computer science and medicine. The members share a common interest in improving the ways society stores, retrieves, analyzes, manages, archives and disseminates information. 1970s was the move to online information. During this time, many institutions are making the move from batch processing to online modes, from mainframe computers to more modern computers. With the advancement of technology the traditional boundaries began to fade and library schools started to add information in the titles of their programs. ASSIS sponsored a bicentennial conference which focused on the role of information in the country's development. The group also participated in the planning and implementation of the White House Conference on Library and Information Services. 1980s brings is the beginning of the popularity of personal computers, this is the first time individuals can access large databases, such as Grateful Med at the National Library of Medicine, and user-oriented services such as Dialog and CompuServe on their personal computers. 
ASIS created groups on office information, personal computers, international information issues and rural information services in response to the changing environment. Eventually other groups were created, such as, non-print media, social sciences, energy and the environment, and community information systems. ASIS also added its first non-North American chapters. ASIS and T today, the group continues to grow and change. In the 2000s the group's name changes twice, first in 2000 to American Society for Information Science and Technology in order to reflect the range of its members, then in 2013 to Association for Information Science and Technology to reflect its growing international membership. ASIS&T is involved in the forefront of in examining the technical basis, social consequences, and theoretical understanding of online databases. They also study the effects of widespread use of databases in government, industry, and education, and the development of information databases on the Internet and World Wide Web. Topic mission In a world where information is of central importance to personal, social, political, and economic progress, ASIS&T seeks to advance the information sciences and information technology by providing focus, opportunity, and support to information professionals and information organizations. ASIS&T seeks to advance knowledge about information, its creation, properties, and use as well as increase public awareness of the information sciences and technologies and their benefits to society. Vision To establish an information professionalism in the world by, advancing knowledge about information, providing analysis of ideas, valuing theory, research, applications, and service, nurturing new perspectives, interests, and ideas, increasing public awareness of the information sciences and technologies and their benefits to society. Topic membership Originally membership was based on representatives nominated by scientific societies, professional associations, foundations, and government agencies. Changes made to the bylaws in 1952 opened the organization to any individual with interest in the dissemination of information. Today, fee-based memberships can be either individual or institutional, with no formal requirements to join as an individual. Similar to most organizations of its kind, ASIS&T offers benefits to its members in the form of subscriptions to publications, access to job assistance services and discounts to ASIS&T sponsored events. Publications In 1966, RD began publication of the Annual Review of Information Science and Technology. Its successor organizations continued publishing the Annual Review under that title until 2011. JASIST <laughs> <laughs> Ardy decided in 1950 to create a journal modeled after the defunct Journal of Documentary Reproduction, which had been published by the American Library Association from 1938 to 1942. Ardy published the journal American Documentation, from 1950 until 1968, when Ardy changed its name as an organization and renamed American Documentation as the Journal of the American Society for Information Science. In 2000, the Society changed names again, and the journal followed suit, becoming the current journal of the American Society for Information Science and Technology. See also Association of Information Technology Professionals Society of Information Technology Management SOCITM, related group based in the UK related governmental agencies 
National Commission on Libraries and Information Science Institute of Museum and Library Services IMLS Documentation Science Library Science Information Science American Society for Information Science and Technology <laughs>